This video is for reference and is only used to simulate on-site inspection and maintenance. Before inspection, please read the operation instruction carefully and prepare the parts that need to be replaced. Inspection of the MDU must be done according to the provided circuit diagram. Preparation Wear work clothes, work shoes, and a safety helmet. All necessary tools must be prepared. No jewelries, no sundries in the pockets. Goggles are required on special occasions, and safety belts are requested for climbing. SHMD MDU regular inspection and maintenance. Check if there's corrosion or abnormality on the MDU appearance, especially drive shafts, door buckles, and screws. Check if the bevel gear box and other places have corrosions or oil leakages. There is a breathing hole on the top and bottom of the cabinet side. Debris needs to be cleaned up in time. Open the cabinet door and check whether it's at the setting position and whether the nameplate is easy to read. Pay attention if any electrical component is corroded or not. Ensure the cabinet is protected from moisture, dust, and small animals. Check the heater. Adjust the setting value of the temperature sensor to a degree more than the ambient temperature. Wait for around 10 seconds and use your hand to touch the heater. If the heater is hot, then it functions well. After the inspection, adjust the temperature sensor back to the previous value. Check if the position on the LC module and that on the clock face display are the same. Make sure the counter works properly. Operate to the maximum position and insert the hand crank and rotate it to check the maximum position and limit. The micro switch will be triggered within 5 circles. Measure its signal. Check the stop function. Insert the hand crank to check its protection function. Operate to the minimum position and insert the hand crank and rotate it to check the minimum position and limit. The micro switch will be triggered within 5 circles. Measure its signal. Insert the hand crank to check the manual protection function. Rotate one cycle to ensure the mechanical transmission is smooth without any abnormal noise or jam.
use short circuit to detect overcurrent input blocking function. Adjust the LC module to remote control mode. Use a short circuit to check the remote command input, such as 1 to N, stop, and N to 1. Inspect the circuit breaker, open and close signal outputs. Inspect the up, down, and operation rejection signals. Inspect the one-to-one -one signal output. Inspect the BCD code position signal output. Check if the hand lamp works well. Preparation before common parts replacement. Detach the hand lamp from the frame and put it on the bottom. Remove the five fixing screws from the protection cover and remove the cover.
common parts replacement. Angle chip replacement. Disassembly. If the LC module shows E04 error alarm, first check whether the communication line is loose. If not, the angle chip may be abnormal. Turn off SHMD's power first, then Remove the four screws that fix the base of the clock face. Remove the base of the clock face. Pull out the connecting wire with the angle chip. Remove the three screws fixing the, the signal board and take it out. Test the flexibility of the magnetic device and remember its position. Move the magnetic device to the bottom. Remove the four screws fixing the first angle chip and then the four washers at the first angle. Remove the three screws fixing the second angle chip, and then the second angle chip. Installation. Put back the four washers which fix the first angle chip. Reinstall the first angle chip and tighten the four fixing screws. Reinstall the second angle chip and tighten the three fixing screws.
horizontally reset the magnetic device. Pass the connecting wire of the angle chip into the signal board and insert it into the second angle chip. Tighten the three screws that fix the signal board. Reinstall the clock face space and tighten the four fixing screws. Insert the other end of the communication line into the LC module port. Turn on the power to see if E04 is still on the screen. If the position display is normal, you can switch the positions up and down. LC module replacement. Disassembly. Remove LC module's upper and lower connections. Terminal blocks optical fibers and so on. Remove the two screws fixing the lower part of the LC module. Loosen the two upper fixing screws and remove the LC module. Installation Reinstall the new LC module with the same position and tighten the four fixing screws. Reinstall the upper and lower connections, terminal blocks, optical fibers, and so on.
press and hold the remote control, communication, and local buttons at the same time. After turning on the power, release the three buttons. The middle position will appear on the screen after the model. Check whether the model and position are consistent with the nameplate and clock face position. If yes, press the local button three times to confirm. Counter replacement. Disassembly. If the counter does not work, you can replace it. First, remove the two wires connecting the counter in LC module. Remove the two screws fixing the counter and take the counter out. Installation Reinstall the counter and tighten the two fixing screws. Connect the two wires of the counter to the LC module. Pay attention to the order of two optical fibers. Switch several positions to check whether the counter is working normally. Integrated module replacement. Disassembly. Remove the screws that fix both ends of the terminal bracket. Pull out the terminal block on the module box. Remove the fixing screws at the upper and lower ends of the module, which needs to be replaced, and pull out the module. Installation Insert the new module into the module box and tighten the fixing screws at the upper and lower ends. Plug in the terminal block on the power module box. Tighten the fixing screws at both ends of the terminal bracket. Reinstallation after replacing common parts. Put back the protection cover and tighten upper and lower five fixing screws.
put the hand lamp cord away and snap it into the bracket. Turn on the power and adjust the MTU to a setting position. Turn off the power and close the 